Hi guys, this is Kez, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be sorting out some more wigs. Just going to give you a quick update on what makeup I've got on today. I'm actually wearing the Primark foundation, which I was quite surprised about. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I don't usually like matte foundations, but I thought I'd give it a go because I had a voucher. It's this one here, and it's actually really, really good. It smells nice, it goes on nicely. It's quite a good skin match tone for my skin. I was really pleased with that, especially since it's only £5. The shade this is, Nougat or Nugget, however you want to pronounce it, which is shade 3. So it's got slightly pinky undertones. There is some with a more yellow undertone. My eyeshadow is Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is from the Compass of Creativity palette. My eyebrows are from a brow pomade from the Body Shop. And the lips is Jeffree Star. Are you filming? And the blush is by Rimmel. Okay, so let's get started on the week. We're still currently going through the second tub at the moment. I did a few of them, um, but it's a big tub. This one that I have here is from Wig Warehouse. It's a sort of a salmon-y colour that fades into a brown and mixes in at the ends. It is a lace front, most of their wigs are. So the lace does go all the way round from ear to ear. It's got wig combs in to keep it secure. This was a bit longer and it was also wavy, but they are heat resistant, so I straightened mine. I actually trimmed mine quite a bit because they come all the way down to here, but I like my wigs around about shoulder length, boob length, because I find them easier to wear. It has got a lot of hair to it, which is great. It's a really nice quality. And again, I love the unusual colours in it because it's something that you don't see every day. It was named after one of the star signs, but I can't remember which one it was, but I do believe it might still be on the website. But their wigs are lovely quality and they straighten really nicely. This is not quite as straight as it was just because I've had it quite a while now and it needs a re-straighten from being in the bag. The part is quite movable with this one because it's not set in one place, which means you can move it around to the left or the right. And you've got a bit of play in that if you wanted to as well to move the part around. The lace is lovely, very invisible. And it could be glued down if you wanted it to be. I have left the ear tabs on this in case I ever decide to glue it down. But most of the time I don't. And I love the layers in it. It's got these really nice thin layers. And then it's got these thicker ones. This is a keep. Wig Warehouse is based in the UK. So they're easy to get hold of if you're on my side of the pond. This one I believe was originally from Hazel Wigs. I'm not sure whether there's a website now, but they can be found on Depop. Her brand is on there. And there's a lot of cosplay wigs on there, but I have started seeing some lace fronts on there as well now, which are more natural in colour and look more like real hair. It's another split wig. Now I have problems with these fringes and I'll tell you why. You can probably see from here. If I was to cut this bit short to match the rest, this bit would float around because it's not meant to be part of the fringe. But because of my hair and my head shape, my head goes slightly further across. So really, I should cut that in. But what I try to do is just move them over a little bit like that and just use the straighteners so that I don't have to do that. Because otherwise, they just don't sit nicely. And that's another reason I don't like these scalpy wigs here with the... The little bits at the end. I've tried to mimic it here and keep this bit a bit longer as well and it's fine that side but for some reason this side it needs to be shorter. But the wig itself I really like. It doesn't look too fake or shiny and I love the split colour. So I'm going to keep it for now although it might go in the future. I've got another Lush Wigs one here. Another split one. Non-lace front on this one as well. Most of the ones, unless I say with the fringes, aren't lace front. This is Bumble. Split between like an orange and a black. Like the Bumblebee. It's a lovely shaped wig. It's kind of like a graduated bob. It's really nice to wear. The fringes are, again, that sort of really hard to style fringe. But because... I can use heat on it I will be able to straighten it out a little bit and usually before I wear them I will do that but because I'm just showing them for this purpose I'm not going to spend too much time playing with it today but for now that's a keep as well 
still with the lush wigs this one again does not have lace front but this has got more of a fringe or bangs section to it this is one of their very older styles which i don't think is available on the website anymore i think it did get discontinued but i thought it was really pretty i did have two of these i styled one of them short but i have since passed that one on and sold it on to somebody else who likes the shorter style and I kept the longer one. So the ones with these fringes from Lush I really like. Because of the bangs you can sweep them to one side or you can wear them as a full fringe. It's up to you. I love the rainbows in this one as well. So all through the ends it's kind of like a golden shade. Almost like a strawberry blonde. But then it's got all of these different shades through the end as well which sits underneath and while it doesn't look like the most realistic wig on the planet if you don't mind people knowing that you wear wigs it's a nice one to wear and I would wear it out so it's a keep again if you go onto my Instagram I have got all the names of the wigs on there my Instagram is at for the love of wigs I will link it in the description this is another one that I got from Wig Warehouse. Lace front again. It was wavy and I straightened it and cut it because it was too long for me. It starts off white, fades into candy floss pink and then goes into blue. I was originally getting rid of this wig and trying to sell it on. But then when Halloween came around, I wanted to do a cosplay and do like a picture for Halloween. And I wanted to do Abby Bumble from Monster High. And this wig is actually perfect for her because she has got a mix of shades in her hair. And so because of that, I decided to keep it for that. And then I sort of looked at it again and thought, well, actually, I really like it. So I've kept it. The lace is practically invisible on this one. You can see your own scalp through it. That's the only problem because the lace is light. You could wear a lighter wig cap under it if you wanted to, to try and cancel that out. The one I've got is one of the ventilated ones with the holes in, and so you can see through it anyway. But you can, if you wanted, get a solid cap so that that wouldn't be the case. But to be honest, it doesn't bother me because I think it makes it look more natural. Because if you had dyed your hair this colour, you would see roots. So that's a keep. This is another one from Keshley Head Shops and this is one of the lace fronts. I did tell you that I did have some lace fronts as well. I think this one was called Hidden Closet and I actually got it in one of the Lucky Dips. So when she has offers on, she puts certain wigs on as Lucky Dips and you never know what you're going to get and you can pick either bright lace fronts or neutral and the same with the ones with the fringes and things. I just took my chances and I was really happy to get this one because it was one that was on my list. So it's got really invisible lace at the front and the lace goes all the way around ear to ear. It does have the combs already sewn in to keep it secure and it's a beautiful white and it goes into all these rainbows. I did again cut mine a little bit. I always cut them just to suit my own style. The quality of the wigs is really important to Keshley, so when she gets them, she makes sure that they're good quality before she even puts them on the site. It has got a movable part, so it's a free, what they call free part, which means you can move it around. It's not static in one place. Glue it down, and then you wouldn't see your own hair underneath. So that's a keep. It's got blonde around the roots as well, so it looks like it's got a faded root. But because the root is like a yellow, it blends in really well with the other colours. So this is definitely on my keep list. It's really pretty to wear. Again, if you wanted, you could use the ear tabs too. Most of the wigs in this tub are lush wigs. This is another non-lace front one. And this one is called Foxglove. It's another split wig. Now, unlike the other ones, I quite like the fringe on this one. It doesn't 
stick up and go weird like the other ones do it just sits really nicely and i love the colors on it i think it's a really nice mix and i would actually wear this out even though it's a bit brighter it wouldn't bother me wearing it in public it does need a bit of a brush but that's definitely a keep yet another lush wig i think this one was called hellbore now they did a range of wigs that just had coloured fringes so the rest of the wig was dark and then the fringe was coloured i think there was about four and i think i got about three of the four it's non-lace front but i love the waves and the style of it and that coloured fringe is really nice it just makes like a little different pop what i would probably do is i'll take some of these side bits here and I will cut those shorter so the fringe blends in better. Because at the moment it just sits and looks like it's separate from the wig. Whereas if I take some of these bits and cut them shorter, it will blend in with the wig a little better. And when you straighten it as well, it looks fine. But the colour itself is really lovely. That's a keep. This was another Hazel Wigs one. Has got the fringe again. I love the colours on this one and again it's got the waves on it the fringe on this one because it kind of sweeps over isn't too bad with the others when they're just straight down they don't look right but this one is sweeping over to the side and it blends in really well so I really like this one so I will be keeping this one this one I got off an individual seller so I don't know what the brand is it's a black wig, non-lace front, but it's got red through it as well. I got this really cheap. I think it was about £5 because it wasn't in great condition. The strap's broken at the back, but that doesn't really matter because I've just tied it. I straightened it and I conditioned it because it was in not very nice condition at all, which is why it was cheap in the first place, because it needed a condition and a needed looking after. But I used to actually have my hair like this at one point. So I had the sort of red through my hair with the black. And because of that, I really love it. It just reminds me of how my hair was before. Because it's got this kind of side fringe to it, it doesn't look artificial as a wig. And I love the way that the red peeks through. So that is a keep. This is a lace front. Um, I believe this was from UV Me. It is a lace front. The lace goes about halfway back, but it does go all the way around the sides as well. I do like the fact that it's got dark roots. I did trim this one a little bit as well because, again, it was too long. So I've got it sitting round about here, whereas it was waist length before. But they're just far more manageable that way. But the colours in this are quite unusual. The hairline is really natural, so you could get away with wearing that out and about, and you probably wouldn't detect it as a wig. The part on this is slightly more middle parted. You could, if you wanted, sweep it over to hide it, but I don't think it looks as natural. I think I prefer it in the middle. I'm just not sure about the lace. I think the lace is that little bit too different to my skin tone there's two things people do with that they either match it with a concealer and cover it up with a concealer that matches the skin tone or as i've mentioned before you can actually dye the lace with bleach because it won't actually go on the wig itself bleach doesn't take on the synthetic hair but it does work on the lace so if you use a very small portion along the lace it will dye it but that's a keep despite me hating the ones with the fringe fronts i seem to have gained quite a lot of them this is another one this was from shine i think what drew me to them is they're mostly the ones that have split colors i don't actually mind the fringe on this one though because it falls quite nicely and i think because it's a bigger cap it goes all the way along my head so i don't have to cut bits out of this side and make it seem a bit odd so i really like this one i love the mix of the lighter and darker purple as well and it's got a little bit of a wave to it which makes it look a little bit more natural you can also straighten this as well and so I could always just straighten the fringe a little bit if I needed to. I have left that fringe a little bit longer. And perhaps that's why it looks better. This was a cosplay wig. Again, 
brand unknown i'm not sure where it's from but i do i did really like the colors on this one it's like a strawberry blondie shade and then it's got blue but the blue is underneath you can either have it as a full fringe or you can have a side swept fringe with this one it takes a little bit of styling to get it to look right so you can't just pop it on straight out of the bag and go but i think it's worth it for the colors that's a keep back to lush wigs again this one i do remember the name of this is one of their older styles called debaser and it's a combination of colors again non-lace front but it has got a side swept fringe so it looks a bit more natural you've got that brown on the top and then the blue underneath and you've got one of the fringes that you can either use like a messy emo fringe or you could cut it into a full fringe if you wanted. There is potential there. But I love the colours in this one. Again, I'm drawn to unusual colour combinations. You can actually tuck this behind your ear if you wanted to try and make it a little bit smarter. Sometimes lush wigs are a little bit shiny. But you can either use a little bit of dry shampoo or wash it a few times and it gets rid of the artificial shine. A lot of people also use fabric conditioner, but I find that it makes the wig feel greasy and horrible, so I don't like it. This is a Lula Bells wig. Lula Bells is another UK company. They do a lot of hair extensions, but they also do a range of lace front wigs. This was one of their limited edition ones called Sky. It has got lace all the way around it ear to ear. This is a darker rooted one that fades into mint. The caps on these are, I'd say average, but they are a little on the large side. So if you don't like large caps, it could be a bit difficult wearing their wigs, but they do have the little extender things in there so that you can tighten it up. This wig sat on the pile for a while and it's gone between the get rid of pile and the keep pile several times. Every time I try to get rid of it, people want it for silly money and only want to pay sort of five pound which i'm not willing to let it go for because the wig's a 70 pound wig and so i'm tempted to just keep it because it is very pretty and it's a brilliant quality all the luda bells wigs are really nice quality and the more i wear it the more i like it i think what puts me off is when i look at it in pictures it looks a lighter shade than it is and I just think, oh, I don't like that. But then when I wear it in person, it's actually darker. It was a bit wavy when I got it and I could recurl it quite easily. But at the moment, it's kind of an in-between. So I'm going to keep that one for now. This was another one I got from Shine. I really liked the colours, which is what drew me to it. It isn't lace front. The cap isn't actually bad construction. It's quite nice. But I like the fact that it was black and green. You can tell it's a cosplay wig, so if you were looking for realism, I wouldn't suggest it. But if you don't mind people know that you wear wigs and you like ones that are a bit more fun, then it's brilliant. I'd quite happily wear it. It's got the side fringe, which I like a lot better. You could cut it into a full fringe if you wanted. There's enough hair potentially there to do that. I just like that little pop of green through it. I think it's really pretty, so that's a keep. This one, I don't know where it was from. It has got that annoying fringe that I hate. But I just love the colours on it. Because it's got this, this lovely blue and white in it. But I do think I'm going to be getting rid of this one. You can straighten the fringe on it so you could make it look better. But as pretty as it is, I just don't think I'm going to get the wear out of it it could do with. And so I'm going to move that one on. This is another lace front. And this is from when Shine started doing lace front wigs. Originally, they were just the cosplay wigs. And then they started doing better quality ones. It's a blonde wig, but it's got rainbows all underneath it. But unlike the one from Kesh, this is more of a yellow blonde. If it didn't have the highlights in, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. But because it's got other colours through it, it's fine. The lace cap is very see-through on it, so you've got a lot of lace there that's quite natural and it does come with the combs in it as well. I did cut this one, but I didn't cut much off. I just took the ends off this one, just so it was a little bit shorter and a bit more manageable. 
it has got that free part thing going for it so you can change the part around um i tend to just straighten it and keep it to one side but it is flexible and there you can see it's got these colors through it so you've got pink and blue running through the wig and i think there's some purple in there as well so like pink blue and purple going all the way through it and you can see that the colors offset the yellow so it doesn't look too bad I like the fact, and it's going to sound really weird, but I like the fact you can see my dark roots through it because I think that makes it look more natural. I think if it was just blocky yellow, that wouldn't look as good. So that's the key. This is another one. I don't know where it came from. It is a cosplay wig. I like the fact it's very emo, grungy style. Love the blue underneath. And I like the long bangs on this one, or fringe, whatever you call it. You can wear it as a full fringe, which I've done before. But you can also sweep it to the side if you want. I've cut it on purpose so that I can keep it in a fringe because I quite like it with a fringe. I just think it gives it that mullety effect, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to look grungy and 90s -y and Y2K. It does shed a little bit, this one does, because it's a cheaper wig, so you do lose a bit of hair. It's not ridiculously bad, but it's when you brush through it, you do tend to get a little bit of wig fallout which you do with cheaper wigs. It's just one of the downsides to them. We've actually reached the end of one of the tubs now. And there's a couple that I'm reconsidering. The pink and black one I'm thinking I might get rid of and the Bumble by Lush I still might get rid of because when I looked at them and I looked at my reasons why I didn't like them with the caps and the fringes, I'm just thinking now that perhaps they are not the right wigs and I won't use them. So actually doing this video is helping me decide. So I'm going to now get these packed away and then I'll move on to the next set for you to see. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can watch other ones. You can find me on Instagram under at For The Love Of Wigs. You can also find me on TikTok under Chameleon Makeup. Thanks for watching.